Hello friends. In previous video, we have derived the relation between the rotor copper loss and rotor input. Also, we have derived the relation between rotor copper loss and the mechanical power developed. So by using those two relations, we are going to develop the formula for the developed torque in the motor. But before going forward with what is the formula for the developed torque, let me explain to you what exactly is the developed torque. So we know that a machine is a device which does the electromechanical energy conversion. Now in case of our machine, that is three-phase induction motor, so it will convert the electrical energy to mechanical energy. Now during this internal electromechanical conversion, whatever torque is generated or whatever torque is induced, that torque is called as developed torque. So we can say that the developed torque or the induced torque is the torque in a machine which is defined as the torque generated by the internal electric to mechanical conversion. So this torque can also be called as electromagnetic torque. So the torque that is developed torque which is nothing but electromagnetic torque, it is very different than the actual torque which is at the output of the motor. So the difference is that from the torque which is actually available at the motor by the amount which is equal to friction and windage torques of the machine. So we can derive the formula for the developed torque as Td. So we are representing developed torque as Td is equal to ratio of mechanical power developed to the mechanical angular velocity of the rotor. Hence we can write Td is equal to PMD which is nothing but the mechanical power developed divided by omega r. Let it be equation number one. But in the previous video, we have derived the relation between rotor copper loss and mechanical power developed. So that formula was PRC is equal to S divided by one minus S into PMD, where PRC is the rotor copper loss and PMD is the mechanical power developed. Similarly, we have also derived the relation between rotor copper loss and rotor input. So that relation was PRC is equal to S into PG. Now, if we substitute PRC is equal to S into PG in this equation, then again, we can modify the equation as S into PG is equal to S divided by 1 minus S into PMD. Now, if I take this S on the left side of the equation to the right hand side, again, the equation can be modified as PG is equal to 1 upon 1 minus s into PMD. Why? Because this s and this s will get cancelled. The s which is multiplied here, it will get divided over here. So s and s will get cancelled. So we get PG is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus s into PMD. Again, if we take PMD on one side of equation, then we can write PMD is equal to 1 minus s into PG. So let this be equation number 2. Why we have taken the equation of PG? Because we saw Td is equal to PMD upon omega r. So we have found the formula for PMD. This is equation number two. Now we know another formula or another relation for the mechanical power developed. That is nothing but PMD is equal to omega r into Td. Similarly, we know the formula for PG. That is the air gap power is equal to omega s into Td. So if you substitute these values of PMD and PG in equation number two, we can write. So I have substituted PMD as omega r into Td. So omega r into Td is equal to 1 minus s into, I have replaced Pg by omega s into Td. Omega s into Td. So omega r into Td is equal to 1 minus s into omega s into Td. So what are the common terms over here? Td and Td on both the side of equation will get cancelled. So our equation becomes omega r is equal to 1 minus s into omega s. Let it be equation number 3. Now in equation 1, there were two parameters, PMD and omega r. We have found the values of both PMD and omega r in equation 2 and equation 3. So if we substitute equation 2 and equation 3 in equation 1, then we get the formula as Td, that is developed torque, is equal to 1 minus s into Pg divided by 1 minus s into omega s. Now the 1 minus s in numerator as well as denominator will get cancelled. So we get Td is equal to Pg divided by omega s. So this is the equation for the developed torque. 
so we can say from equation 2 it gives the developed torque in terms of air gap power that is pg that is why this torque is also called as torque in synchronous wire now let us see what is synchronous wire so synchronous wire is nothing but the torque which is developed the power of one wire when the machine is running at the synchronous speed so if we assume that our machine is rotating at the synchronous speed we know that induction machine never runs at synchronous speed but if we assume that it rotates at the synchronous speed then at that time this torque will develop the power of one wire so that is nothing but synchronous wire so synchronous wire is the torque that develops the power of one wire when the machine is running at the synchronous speed so in this way we have derived the formula for developed torque thank you